it's a hint of the possibility of biology in the clouds of Venus. Um, it's 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 not a smoking gun. I, I, I use the analogy. It's not a smoking gun. It's not even um, gunshot residue on, on, on the hands of your, your prime suspect. But there is a distinct whiff of cordite in the air, which may be suggesting something. We exhaustively went through every possibility and ruled all of them out. Volcanoes, lightning strikes, meteorites, small meteorites falling into the atmosphere. We worked out all the chemistry, all the known chemistry possible that might occur in Venus's atmosphere on the surface and subsurface. And not a single process we looked at could produce phosphine in, in high enough quantities to explain our team's findings of phosphine in the Venus atmosphere. So we are left with two remote possibilities. One is that there's some unknown chemistry, some chemistry we don't know about. The second more intriguing possibility is that there might be some kind of life form in the Venus atmosphere that is producing the phosphine that we have detected. Now on Venus, we don't know what, what life would be like. We have to assume that the life is in the clouds where the temperatures are right for life and not on the surface that is so hot that any life, no life could survive. We're thinking or we speculate that life would be some kind of microbial type particle, something small that can live inside the liquid droplets on Venus where it can be protected from the, the rest of the environment. On Earth, phosphine gas is only associated with life. It doesn't come from any other planetary process. So we're excited to eventually take the next steps to try to find out whether or not it's actually life on Venus producing this phosphine. I, I don't consider this um, irrefutable evidence that there is life on Venus, but it's a legitimate biosignature. It's a legitimate hint that um, there could be uh, a, a thriving um, biota on Venus.